This video is sponsored by WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. With this program, you can import videos from any device or source and basically convert in any format. With this software, you can download videos and audio from a thousand plus websites and you can also edit and upload photo slideshows with music. To start the process, just click on this button to insert your video file. And here, you will be able to select in which format you want this video to be formatted in. For example, I'm gonna select MOV video and then click on OK and then I'm I'm gonna click on run to start the process. If you want to edit your video, you can click on the edit button and here you will be able to adjust the audio volume to add subtitles, crop and expand the video and trim. If you need to convert certain videos to certain formats or you need to do a simple edit to a video, you can use WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. All the useful links will be in the description down below, including their giveaway. Let's continue with the video. Hi guys and welcome to TechBased, welcome to a new video where we talk about the newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build. Today we have the Windows 11 Insider Preview build 22K458, so I just installed it here. Today it's Wednesday, so we were not expecting a new version or, or a new Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel from Microsoft, but I think maybe they will start to update the dev channel on Wednesdays and maybe the beta channel on Thursdays. This is only my opinion, so I'm not sure about it, but it would be good that way because it's better to post a different video on two consecutive days than posting two videos on the same day, maybe at the same time because Microsoft releases two versions at the same time. So we have this new build, OS build 22K458. Unfortunately for this build, Microsoft didn't fix the most important issue, which is with the taskbar. As you can see, the taskbar icons are not centered so that's a big issue you can fix that by moving all these icons to the left side you can do that by right clicking on the taskbar and then taskbar settings and then taskbar behaviors and taskbar alignment to left but i don't like it this way so i'm just gonna leave it on center so as you can see if you have multiple icons here they will bug out to with the system tray from windows 11 which is not really great but i'm hoping that microsoft will fix this soon another thing that microsoft reminded us is that for now the dev channel won't have any new major changes because they are working on releasing them in the near future so in the following weeks we're gonna start seeing many major features on the dev channel so for now we have a few fixes a few changes which are pretty good for the os but unfortunately we don't have a fix for this taskbar icons issue so now let's talk about some changes and improvements to this version we now have a link to the sign in options under the power menu on start so if we click on the start menu and here on power settings we have sign in options which will lead us to the settings or in or to the sign in options where you can you know, select ways to sign in facial recognition fingerprint recognition pin security key password picture password so that's really really good we also have some fixes re regarding the start menu some issue that was impacting the start menu to not work as it should for the search we also have some improvements now folders that contain the symbol hashtag in their name can now be added to indexing so basically you can search for them now which is a good thing for the settings app Microsoft addressed an issue that was causing settings to crash sometimes when you were trying to open the display settings page so now that's not a problem and also when you clicked on advanced display settings and then more about refresh rate now the correct page the correct support page for Microsoft will open up but I'm really not sure that the correct page is opening up because we are automatically selected with the Windows 10 thing but yeah help and learning for Windows 11 is coming soon so for now we're gonna have to use the settings for Windows 10. They also fixed an issue where the location page in settings wasn't showing warning text displaying while the location services setting was grayed out if it was grayed out. Also they fixed a couple typos in the output of DLL files. For Windows they mitigated an issue that could make certain games unexpectedly crash when using Alt plus Enter which can be used to switch between full screen and window mode when you were using the auto HDR setting. They also addressed an issue that was causing text truncation in the encrypting file system window in certain cases. They also fixed a rare scenario that could result in an uninstalled inbox app unexpectedly reappearing after reboot. And also AppX commandlets should now work with PowerShell 7.0. And of course, you're gonna have the link to the official article from the Microsoft blog. We have the known issues section where we have this taskbar issue that is noted here. 
I'm actually surprised that Microsoft couldn't fix this in a week. So I'm hoping that they will fix it for the next one. Uh, I don't want to have this issue forever here in my taskbar. Even though I'm in the dev channel, I know that is it is pretty unstable, but we need this um, fixed as soon as possible. We also have a new tips app for Windows 11, which has a new design and also 114 new tips. As you can see here, we have getting around in Windows, all about widgets, keyboard shortcuts, personalize your PC, stay safer, show all the tips. So basically you have, for example, keyboard shortcuts, you have the new keyboard shortcuts from Windows 11, which is really good. You can see a lot of tips, a lot of useful tips here. So if you have this new dev channel version, go ahead and check out this new tips app for Windows 11. So this is all the things that are new in this new Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22K458. Don't forget to check out the article, the official article from the Microsoft blog in the description down below. You're gonna have the link there. There. If the video was useful and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.